To what extent do you think the drive-by truckers identify with the Flying Willendis? I'd never heard of them before the song. So it was just Patterson? I, mean, I may have, you know, but uh, apparently uh, some of the, like the mother of the family might have lived uh, in Florida where, like next door to where his grandparents live or something. But I, I, I think he read up on the subject to actually write the song. Again, I guess Patterson would be the one, if anybody who identifies. Yeah, yeah, probably you so. You guys haven't crashed and burned yet. <laughs> um, both the new album and the last album, you guys do songs about birthdays. The new one is yours. Yeah. I, I forget, is Lisa's birthday yours or Patterson's? I forget. Oh, uh, that was mine, yeah. You know, so they're both, you, so you, so are, and they're, they're both pretty sad songs. Yeah. So, do you have a, a history of sad birthdays? No, uh, yeah, they, um, I, I don't know where, you know, the the, the, the first one was a, a friend of mine, uh, he said that every time his girlfriend, fiance would come home um, really drunk after a really bad night, that, that was her excuse, was there was no Lisa, it was just, well, it was Lisa's birthday, we had to celebrate. Um, so that, that, you know, it writes itself. Sure. <laughs> then, I mean, is the next one based on a, the, the new one based on a true story? The, oh, they're all true. Um, it, but, well, it's no, not it's, your birthday. It's, some, it's some, somebody you I, know. I, I wrote it the week of my birthday. Uh, I, I came up with the first line, but the rest of it was uh, kind of based on a character in a book I'd read. Oh, okay. So, and I mean, the, I think the great line of that one is the one about how, how they know that the guy has a girlfriend and he's not single or married. Yeah. How, how does that go again? <laughs> it's, uh, because uh, uh, he asked how much it cost. Yeah, ma married men don't ask how much single ones ain't buying. Um, so, new album, Patterson does a song about a guy with a shitty job. And it's followed imme immediately by your song about a guy who's looking for a job. Yeah, well, he's not looking for a job. That's his well, problem. Oh, well, he, his wife <laughs> is telling him to, to look for a job? Yeah. He's, he's, he's couch surfing. Right. And he can't get a job because... Foreigners are coming in and taking all the jobs. Yeah, he's he's making excuses, and uh, I, the 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 day I, the, the day I got the finished mastered copy of the record and listened to it was the same day Lou Dobbs resigned from CNN. Really cracked me up. So, did you guys put those two songs back to back intentionally? Then, I mean, because they kind of complement each other. Well, yeah, it, it, it was in the sequence. We, we, we didn't plan to write them, but. Uh, but I mean, the re the reason they're on the sequence on yeah, the album is. Yeah, that was th th that was too obvious. Did, do you, who do you think is luckier, the, the guy in Patterson's job, in, in Patterson's song who has a shitty job, or the guy in, in your song who doesn't have a job? <laughs> uh, neither one of them are lucky. Um, <laughs> they're, at the end of the day, they're both in the same same boat. One of them's just paddling harder. Fourth day of drinking, which I know is a Patterson song. Yeah. Uh, you guys give them a hard time because of the horse with no name similarity. The the, the first day of my journey, I was looking for the desert sun, I, or is that... It, it never occurred to me, but... As far as you know, it's completely <laughs> no, coincidental. Yeah. So, no, Sh Shona's song, is that how you say it? Shona? Shana? I don't... Shana, yeah. Her, it seems like her songs ha have, like, less specific details, I mean, they're kind of more generalized. Yeah, I guess is, so. Is, is that is that a conscious thing, or is it you guys just write different? I mean, does... I don't know. <laughs> You know, right. uh, it, it, we all write independently. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't co-write, so, you know. Whoever, and whoever sings and writes them. Yeah, right. Patterson told somebody, and I mean, I, I'm curious whether you agree with him, that the new album is the most rocking album you guys have done since, I guess, the second disc of Southern Rock Opera. Does that make sense to you? I mean, do you agree, disagree? It, it probably is. It's, uh, Can you explain? Because, I mean, it seems like a lot of the songs are still pretty slow yeah. on the new one. So, in what way is it the most rocking album I, since then? I don't know. I mean, there, there's, you know, the, the, the only a couple of the songs seem kind of slow to me, but they, they're they're more dynamic. You know, they, they tend to explode at times more than the crazy horse type guitar. Yeah. Kind of stuff. And it seems like over time, your identity, your like definition of what what counts as a rocking band changed more to the crazy horse side or whatever. Is that like a misperception on my part? Or is it just like I misinterpreted Southern Rock Opera and? Uh, okay, but maybe a little of both. Uh, you know, we we we, we named it that, so we, we kind of have ourselves to blame for any misconceptions. I mean, it was about what it was about. Yeah, it was. It, it, I don't know. It, it was more about a period of time when that particular music was, you know, really big right. when, when it was at its height. So, you know, if, if we had done it about that particular time, it could have been any music. 
Sure. Um, if, if we were New Yorkers, it would have probably been punk. Right. But we're not. <laughs> so it was it was your heritage. You're talking about the South. Yeah, a little about bit. Skinner, yeah. Obviously. And and the Neil Young side had been part of your music since the well since at least that sure. anyway. Yeah, you know? big, big big influence. You know, right. uh, all, all the different Neil Youngs. But, but, there's I mean, do you think that the Skinner influence is something that you guys left behind, or is it just like it wasn't really there? I'm I'm just kind of curious. It, it was there. Uh, it, it was definitely there because you know the thing you have to get past is uh, you know the the hype, the image the stigma and kind of see them for what they are and they, they wrote some really really great songs sure. um, they, even some of the ones you've heard to death if right. you can put that aside and listen to it it's really good you know yeah. it's as good as any anything else I like and they were one funky band too. yeah yeah they were they were a great band they, but I guess so I guess what I'm asking is the 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 funk side of Skinner which I think was in Southern Rock Opera I mean is that some I mean I guess I kind of hear it in um in uh uh um you're looking for a job song. The, the, the go downtown. Yeah. The downtown one. I mean, that's got that boogie woogie thing. Yeah. But um, I love songs like that. But right. you know, the, the the Stones did a lot of those yeah. too. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I guess Bad Birthday is kind of a Stones thing too. Uh, birthday boy. Yeah, birthday boy. Birthday. Yeah, maybe a little. It. Yeah. Uh, I, I. I don't know if uh, anything I can draw a direct line to on that. It's a pretty standard chord progression and beat. You know. Between Southern Rock Opera. And now, I mean, how would you characterize yourself? I mean, if this is the return to rock stuff, I mean, like, do you agree with people called you guys an alt-country band? Or, I mean, is that something that you think that you're separate from? The, or yeah, people the, can the, call you whatever they want? They about. can call whatever they want. You know, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, you know, the, the genres, you know, whatever we, you know, if we happen to fit into one that, you know, contains potential fans, then fine, call us that, you know. Or, <laughs> We're just looking to build our thing, you know. Sure. And you think you, you've, you've done that? Yeah, I think so. I, I think this is going to be a good year. What do, you, what do you think about the new album in general? Um, I'm real happy with it. I'm real positive about it. We, you know, we, we do the same uh, general process every time, and we, I think we keep getting better at it. You know, uh, hopefully, hopefully the next one will be even better. The kind of southern rock stuff that's come out of Nashville, like in the last ten years. Uh, do you pay any attention to it all? I mean, stuff like Montgomery Gentry, Brooks and Dunn, or whatever, or does that just like? Um, that stuff kind of makes me sick. I, I, I it, wondered. I wondered if you liked it. No. Like it. I, why, I why does it make you sick? I don't really care for it at all. Well, it's for one thing, it's like, you know, it's just, it's not country music, uh -huh. uh, you know, and uh, I, I don't know what happened to that. Yeah. And the writing is just bad. It's just plain bad. That's not a matter of opinion, right. you know. They're, they're, they're not even trying to write. They're, they're trying to write that. They won't turn off the, the, the cliches. They, they won't, you know, turn on the cliche radar and go, no, don't do that. Come up with a more interesting way of saying it. The country that. used to, I mean, I know you guys covered a Tom P. Hall song. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so that's something you think country has lost. Oh, sure. You know, I mean, Merle Haggard still makes records. Sure. It's a good new one's good. And they're, they're all good. But... Have you heard it? You know, not unless you buy it. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> I gotta throw another name at you. Kid Rock did all summer long. He had a big hit with All Summer Long two years ago, which is a hit worked in Skinner and uh, um, Warren Zevon parts. Yeah. A year later, you guys covered Playing All Night Long, which is Zevon's song about Skinner. Um, I, I haven't heard that song. I, you know, he, he you know, actually, it, he seems like he might be actually a cool guy. You know, from, from everything I've heard about him, I would probably like him if I met him. As, as a person? You know, yeah. You don't really identify with him? I, I, I don't really get into the, to, to the musical thing, but he's done some cool stuff, I think, you know. You put out the album last year where you covered a Dylan song, a Petty song, the Zevon song, the Tom yeah. song. I mean, I mean, is there anything out there now that you think is on that level? I, I, one of the reasons I'm asking is I don't know if I do. So Yeah, I'm not sure if I do either, but I, I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there somewhere. Yeah, it's out there somewhere.